This week sees the release of Chambers of Zeric quality of life and balancing tweaks, some changes to Kebos, and updates for the collection log. Unrestricted worlds are now open for the duration of the Twitch Prime promotion. We're all happy to announce an extension to the Gold Premier Club offer. Chambers of Zeric balancing. Last week we published this blog about improving the Chamber of Zeric. Mostly players seemed happy with the balancing changes, especially the removal of scavenger rents, though opinions were more divided around the proposed methods for influencing what rooms you might encounter. We are starting off by releasing most of the balancing changes. See below for details of which ones got into this week's update. Spoiler, the scavenger rents are gone. The remaining balancing adjustments will come later in February, around the QOL month dev work. The proposed change to energy pools, whereby they'd cure poison as well as replenishing energy, wasn't so well received, as it's more contentious and not required for the balancing of the chambers. We're happy to leave it out for now and put it to a poll in future if it seems more popular. Regarding the Xerix Ward Scrolls, we'd like to put that section aside for now and continue working on the balancing of the rooms through updates like this one. Once we've had a chance to see the effects of this kind of change, especially checking which rooms players are more willing to play and which ones they're still avoiding, we'll reconsider that topic. We'd also need to ensure players can acquire suitable gear for the raid ahead of them. In the meantime, the following changes have been made. Tecton. Tecton's defense has been reduced by 25% to make it less dependent on defense reducing attacks. Tecton has been made less sensitive to return to the anvil abruptly without trying to hit anyone. Vespula. Vespula will no longer interact with her grubs until the party has entered the room. The portal's health regeneration has been lowered to one third of its current rate. Each point of HP damage dealt now gives an additional two points. The Ice Demon. Adding wood to a lit brazier is now just as effective as adding wood to an unlit brazier and burning it all at once. Creature Keeper Room This room now gives 5 times points as you deposit grubs. We have removed the thieving level restriction to the room so everyone in the party can contribute. The creature will now eat faster than before. The minimum time before the creature gets hungry has been increased from 30 to 60 seconds. Other Changes the seeds given when raking weeds will now rotate between the different seeds available. We've increased the amount of herbs available in higher numbered raid teams. Dungeon layouts that don't give scavenger corridors before you get to the rooms requiring the items they drop have been removed. Small scavengers will no longer spawn in the chambers of Zarek, only the larger scavengers will now appear. Left clicking on a stackable item while storing items in a private storage chest in the chambers of Zarek no longer stores all the items in the stack. The Kebos Lowlands. A big thanks goes out to everyone for their feedback on the post Kebos launch blog poll and its revised version and those who voted in the recent poll. We've started working on the changes and have made the ones below to kick things off. The Jar of Chemicals has been added to the Alchemical Hydra drop table. This drop is additional to the regular loot rolls. The jar can be placed in a player's own display case found in the achievement gallery of the player owned house as long as you have a boss kill count of at least one. Alongside this, the topiary bush and the superior garden can now be trimmed into the shape of the hydra. This also requires one kill count for the alchemical hydra boss. A shortcut has been added to the Mount Karolm dungeon. This allows players with 88 agility to bypass the aggressive monsters between the entrance and the hydra boss. It takes a similar amount of time to reach the alchemical hydra this way as it does to running through the dungeon. Aerial Fishing The rate at which Mulk Pearls are obtained now scales from 1 in 100 to 1 in 75 based on fishing and hunting levels. Allery the Angler at the center of Lake Mulch, I don't know if that's Mulch or Mulch, but now sells the Angler outfit at a cost of 100 Mulch pearls apiece. Unrestricted worlds now open. New and experienced players alike, join us on Unrestricted Worlds to try out any part of old school you want. Previously known as Beta Worlds or Tournament Worlds, we have opened Unrestricted Worlds for a limited time in the past. These worlds allow you to engage with content you wouldn't normally using any stats and gear you choose. When you log in, you'll find yourself in an area with chests full of all the gear you could want and a right click option to set your stats to the desired levels. You may also travel to anywhere in Galenor. Unrestricted Worlds are going live now and are expected to close on the 21st of March. These will give you the chance to test out any PvP setups you want to try or have a go against any bosses you'd like to practice. 
The only exception is the Inferno, which will be disabled on these worlds. Additionally, the 6 Jad Challenge will be available for those who are brave enough to give it a go. Simply head over to the yellow portal just outside the west of the starting area. This also happens to be right in front of the free-for-all portal should you wish to try your hand at PvP without restrictions. This is the perfect chance to practice your skills or start learning to PK. The rest of Galenor is also open so feel free to explore and engage with all the content that's out there with any levels and equipment. Note that progress is not saved on these worlds so your character will be temporary and reset each time they log in. Premier Gold Club Following its continued popularity, we're extending the Gold Premier Club package availability. For more information on our best value membership offer, head over to the page. Please note, Bronze and Silver Premier Club packages are now unavailable. Collection Log Changes Since we released the collection log in early December, many of you have begun the enormous task of completing as many sections as possible. As you are enjoying this so much, we've listened to your feedback and added some more. If you currently own any of the recently added items below, or their variants already, they should be automatically marked off in the log. If anything is missing, let us know. Metal boots from Bronze to Rune were added to the Slayer group. The Graceful set was added to the Rooftop Agility group. We chose not to add all variations of the set because you were able to recolor the same piece and sell them back. Xerx Talisman was added to the Miscellaneous group. The Crab Claw and Helm were added to the Miscellaneous group. Tower of Life Satchels and the Flask were added to the new Tower of Life group under Miscellaneous tab. The Chompy Chick Pet was added to the Bird Hunting group. This already exists under Pets but was duplicated to show on both tabs. A High Gamble Counter in the Barbarian Assault group. Zombie Boots were added to the Random Event group. Fossil Island Note Pages were added to their own group. A new group called My Notes was added. These are pages acquired from killing monsters in the Barbarian dungeon near the outpost. Mystic Robes and the Granite Helm were moved from Miscellaneous to the Slayer group. In other news, a stretching issue with the Ferocious Gloves and Torg's Plate Legs was fixed. The Ferocious Gloves now provide protection when picking Belladonna. Edmund's hand has now been reattached to his wrist. A spelling error when Slayer Masters remind you of the task progress was fixed. A grammar error in the Hydra Pets dialogue has been fixed. The Winter Tot timer no longer has a rogue zero when showing there are 10 seconds remaining. A typo has been fixed in the compost bin options. The range icon has been removed from the world map for the fishing platform because the scenery doesn't act as a range. The Archaeus Essence Mine now has a handy chisel spawn. That's pretty epic. Tool Leprechauns now let you remove all your compost in banknote form so you can fill your bottomless buckets more conveniently. This option is also offered for empty buckets and plant cures. A typo in dialogue during King's Ransom has been fixed. The water sink at the Sinclair Mansion has been unclogged and now works properly. If you guys like this video, if you like my other videos, hit a like down below. Make sure you leave me a comment. Turn on subscribe and alerts. I post these videos almost every day. Anytime there's new RuneScape news coming out that I think you should know about. I really appreciate you guys watching though. Hope you have a great day.